I am filming this video with a Triss hairstyle and a Team Yennefer shirt because I'm conflicted AF. Boobies. Special thanks to all these lovely people for blowing up my Twitter. I now know that there is a Netflix series coming out based on The Witcher, which is one of my favorite novels as well as my favorite video games. So if you aren't familiar with The Witcher, it's a story, a Polish novel, or a series of Polish novels based on a character called Geralt of Rivia, and he's a monster slayer. He kills monsters for money, but there's so much more to it than that. Uh, Geralt is a very complex character. He's a very paradoxical, paradoxical character because he's supposed to not have any emotion, but he cares deeply about the woman that he loves um, as well as everyone else that he cares for. And there's a lot of great romance and family dynamic and just, it's a fantastic story, and if you haven't picked up the Witcher novels, go ahead and pick up The Last Wish, read it in a weekend, and you will fall in love. Uh, the video games are based on a similar story. They, they follow the characters of all of the Witcher novels, like uh, Dandelion, and Geralt, and Yennefer, and Ciri, and Triss, and it takes place after the events of the Witcher novels, so it's kind of liberal with its interpretation, but I think that this Netflix series is going to be more heavily based on the events of the novels because they hired Andrzej Sapkowski, the uh, novelist, the creator of the stories, to be an advisor on the project. They also hired one of the animators responsible for directing uh, well, one of the directors responsible for the animation on The Witcher games, like the intros before you play the games, as well as the cyberpunk trailer, which looks fantastic. I can't wait for that game. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much all we know so far, is that Andrzej Sapkowski is going to be very involved in the project. I hope I'm saying his name right. And that there is a uh, director involved with The Witcher projects that will also be having some say in some of these episodes. Now we don't know any of the casting details, we don't even know when this series will be released, but I'm really excited of course because I'm a huge fan of The Witcher and anything Witcher and I just can't wait for this to be like in the mainstream because it's been in the nerdy mainstream for a while and like people that play video games they know about The Witcher, but a lot of my friends that don't play games and aren't into fantasy novels or reading haven't really got into it, but it'll be a way for them to kind of understand my world a little bit better, understand why I'm always wearing my wolf medallion, and making jokes about having sex on unicorns. Is that Yennefer? Could that, is that Yennefer's voice? That's not how I picture Yennefer's voice. It is Yennefer! Oh my god, I totally didn't think it was her. You haven't read the novel, you probably thought that joke was kind of weird. But anyways, I'm also really excited to see a real live action Yennefer and all of her beauty glory. Yes, I'm team Yennefer. Sorry for the hate that causes. I just prefer bad girls. I'm sorry. It's my own thing. But anyways, um, <laughs> feel free to just get into a Triss and Yennefer argument in the comment section below and don't hate me for my own uh, preferences. But yeah. So, is this gonna be golden? Is it gonna be perfect? I have no idea. I have no way of knowing. Now, Netflix has a good reputation. They've made fantastic series in the past. I mean, when they first started making their own original series, they were just on a gold streak. They made nothing but perfection with series like Orange is the New Black, which is one of my favorites, House of Cards. Um, there's so many amazing series on Netflix, but honestly, I think that Netflix has been on a downward spiral for a while now. A lot of their original series aren't that interesting. I've tried to watch almost all of them, but I find myself becoming disinterested. And after seeing the trailer for the new Death Note Netflix series, I, I'm not too excited about that as a fan of Death Note, so... 
I hope that they take this really seriously and that they find good casting. I know Mads, whatever his name is, I can never say his last name, uh, this guy, <laughs> a lot of people on the internet are saying that he would make a fantastic Geralt. And I think that's true. I mean, I'm a big fan of his. I'm like obsessed with him and everything that he's involved with. I loved him in Hannibal. So I have no doubt that he could do a perfect job but I don't really have any preferences on who I want cast as long as this person is a fantastic actor and can capture the essence of the character. Like Geralt has to be a very paradoxal being. Like I said, he's a paradox. He's supposed to be unfeeling but cares very deeply. He's supposed to be neutral but constantly finds himself taking sides to protect the people he cares about. So he's always at odds with his own ideals and he's always at odds with his own morality and so I hope there's someone that can capture that. I really like the voice actor of the games. Now I know some of my Polish fans don't like the English actors as much because they don't have, they don't speak your native language, so they maybe don't emote things in the same way, but um, I really like the voice actor of Geralt because he kind of talks in a very unemotional way that I would expect Geralt to talk, but he does so um, in a way that does express emotion sometimes, and he, he expresses like Geralt's very dry and pathetic sense of humor as well, and that's great so I I don't know I just have such massive expectations for this and I hope that they can even come close to matching them uh, but I hope that they are really serious about this take their time and consult um, Andrea Sipkowski's as well as all of the massive fans of this series of the games and the books and I I hope that the Polish fans aren't too upset that this series won't be in Polish. It will be an English series, I mean, as all Netflix series are. Um, but I think, like, the majority of Polish people I interact with are very fluent in English. So I don't know, will that change things at all? I hope not. I know some people say that some of the translations of the books miss things, but I personally think the translations of the books are flawless and beautiful, but that's because I don't know Polish. So uh, <laughs> let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you guys, of course, for sharing with this with me, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you guys for sharing this information with me. I will be following all updates on this series on my channel, and I do lots of other Witcher content. I played The Witcher 3 on this channel. I did a Siri analysis lately. I talked about her character in the novels and the video games, and I also did a Siri cosplay. So go ahead and check out those videos. Links in the description. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, subscribe, like my channel, and stay tuned for more awesomeness. I should go. Special thanks to my Patreon subscribers for making this video possible. Check out the link in the description if you want to be one of my sponsors.